Alrighty, well, y'all may remember Cletus, the snappy turtle. I caught him a couple weeks ago. For some reason, every time I come down here to this little creek, I found a, found a freaking giant snapper. Alright, bud. I'm gonna name you Cletus. You'll be my new pet. And I tried to put a GoPro on him and, like, let him swim around, you know, find Atlantis down in the water, and he escaped. Cletus! Cletus! <sighs> down to this pond right here. But the other day I was down here, and, well, we got him. In this otter trap right here, uh, well, I pulled it up and he was in there. So, I'm down here today. I got a bucket and, uh, well, it's time to get him. And I keep on debating on what I want to do with him. And, uh, if I just let him back go in here, he's probably just going to get caught again and eat like half of our fish while he's at it. So, it's time for another catch and cook. Alright, Cletus. It's time. There he is. What a beast. What the heck? Look. Can y'all see that? There's a frog on the back of his shell. Epic. Uh. Bam. Alrighty, Cletus is secure in the bucket. It's time to finally see what Cletus tastes like. Apparently, they're really good, but I've never had one, and uh, well, it's Cletus' lucky day. He gets to die. All right, boys, well, Cletus has been dispatched. Quickly, ethically, all that junk. Not gonna get too close, just for YouTube demonetization stuff. There he is, chilling. He has no head, so, you know, he's fine. But, the plan, I'm not gonna get into it super, like, in-depth whenever I'm actually doing it, because it'll be graphic and all that junk. My plan is, obviously, most of the meat is on, you know, these back and front quarters and you see him moving that's just nerves he's a reptile i don't even know if he can feel pain but yeah that's just what they do he'll do that for like an hour after his head's literally gone but anyways meat is here 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 and basically everywhere so first i'm just gonna try to make a cut along the shell on the inside here and peel the skin back to access the meat and then make a cut all the way around and uh basically pop this top part off and then have the meat just basically sitting on, you know, the bottom part of the shell. You'll see in a little bit. Time to begin the time lapse. Got a knife. This might take a lot of hours, but hey, let's get going. All right, boys, it's time to cook up this thing. I got the turtle in here. I got maybe, I don't know, however much of that is. This is just a tiny, tiny portion of it. There's way more meat on this thing, but I'm not gonna eat a whole turtle just today. There's a big old piece. And most of y'all probably know this, but supposedly turtles have seven different kinds of meat, like dark meat, white meat. Those are the only ones I know about. Maybe it's beef, pork, chicken, fish, I don't know but so in here I got neck meat front leg meat back leg meat and some meat off of uh, actually like kind of the belly like on the underside of the shell like some of these smaller ones are probably uh, belly meat or neck meat and then 
bigger ones like this are uh, front and back legs. So, I got a pan, I got some flour, I got seasoning salt, a little bit of, uh, this is basically just like breadcrumbs, breading mix junk, and some oil. So, I'm gonna come over here, see if I can't fire this puppy up. Oh. Alright, she's hot. Good night. It's freaking windy out here. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. I guess I might just go ahead and use the whole thing. Sorry, Mom, I used all of this stuff. Set it right there on the fire. Now, while I'm waiting for that to get nice and bubbly, first, I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and just mix these two things, this and this, just in this bag of flour. I don't know why, just, just cause why not? Do one of those. Whoa. All right. Shake that up maybe a little bit and then give it some of this stuff. Now, grab the old turtle, and uh, well, that piece looks kind of terrible. Jeez, it's windy. Maybe I'll chunk some of these bigger pieces up. Just give it the old rip. There we go. Thinking I'm just gonna go and throw all these in there, just cause Go big or go home or something. There we go. We got all the turtle in that stuff. Now, uh, sick. Check on the fire over here. Oh, rip. Yuck. Yuck. Look at the bluegill down at the pond. They're going nuts down there. Woo. Alright, well I'm going to attempt to flip them since there's not enough grease in here for them to get fully cooked around. I don't know how this is going to work. Alright boys, well they've been in here for a freaking while now. They're probably all burnt, but yeah, I didn't want a disease or something. So I had to make sure that they were, you know, not raw. They might still be raw, heck I don't know. To turn this off. Well, I'm gonna let these cool down and then, uh, well, see how they taste, I guess. Alright, I wanna cut into one of these and, you know, see what it looks like. There's what we're working with a little nugget. A little bit chewy just a little bit it's actually really not that bad it's pretty juicy which is neat 
I could eat tons of this. It just tastes like a... I'd honestly prefer it over like a chicken nugget or some crap. It just, it's got more flavor. Super juicy too, it's really juicy. And about the part where there's like seven different meats, I've had like five pieces already and they've all tasted the same to me. I don't really, but I think chicken and steak taste the same to be honest. Well, not really, but probably the best catch and cook I've ever done that isn't like a game species.